Hi, my name is Neil Phillips. I'm the Champagne Ambassador for GH Mum and Perrier Jouet. And today we're going to look at opening and serving champagne correctly. And I'm also going to provide you with a couple of tips around adding some more champagne theatre in your bar and restaurant. Now, of course, when you're serving champagne in your bar or restaurant, you obviously want to make sure that champagne is nicely chilled. And you need to have it in the fridge for about three hours beforehand. But of course, there are always situations where you suddenly need to chill down a bottle of champagne pretty quickly. And the best way to do that is actually fill up an ice bucket with half water and half ice. That will chill down a lot quicker than if you've got an ice bucket just full of ice. So you can put that champagne bottle in there nicely like that, and that will chill down in probably about 15 to 30 minutes. So, that's one way of chilling down champagne if you need to do that quite quickly. But of course, when it comes to opening champagne, the thing you need to do first of all, is I'm holding the bottle at the base like that, is what you need to do is just find this little point here with a foil wrap. And then what I'm going to do is I just want to peel that back, and I'm just going to wind that foil wrap off like that. And remember to do this in a way that's going to, those customers have got lots of anticipation about what they're actually going to drink fairly shortly. What I'm now going to do is actually place my thumb on top of that capsule. I'm keeping the pressure on top of it, onto the capsule and onto the cork. Now, I'm going to turn the bottle around a little bit here because what I want to find is this wire ring. And I'm going to turn that anti-clockwise probably about six times. I'm just going to unwind this now. And then, as soon as I take that capsule off, like so, what I need to do very quickly is to make sure I get my thumb on top of the cork. The reason I'm doing that is because you may have pressure building up in the bottle and one thing you don't want to do is actually having a cork flying across a busy bar. I know it may look quite good but it's not very cool folks. So you've got it on there like that. Now here's an important point as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the cork and then actually twist the bottle. Lots of people actually turn the cork. So I'm gradually turning that bottle and as I gradually do that what it's actually doing is slowly but surely it's going to actually ease that cork out of the bottle. But I want to keep the pressure on the bottle because I want to actually control that. So when the champagne bottle opens, rather than actually getting a podium pop, you get a little sigh like that. Much more professional. You can see there, just nicely rising up there. Now, what I want to do is actually pour this into a lovely champagne glass. So what I've got here is a clean glass. And remember, don't have any detergent left in this glass because that's what actually kills off bubbles. I grab the champagne bottle like so. I'm going to tilt the, tilt the glass like this, and then what I will do is actually just pour it in very gently like that. You can see that mousse coming up the glass, and all you have to do here is then just wait a moment for that mousse to go down, pour a drop more champagne into the glass, and then you're just getting it to that level when you want to serve it to a customer. Doesn't that look great? You've got your bottle of champagne there, and your customers are going to enjoy that. When I go into a bar or restaurant, I want to see some theatre. I want to see something that actually catches my eye. And an easy way to do that is through champagne displays. Now, if you look here, we've got this Mum Magnum on the bar and the Perry Jouet Magnum on the bar as well. It's great. It's eye-catching. Also, you can put those behind the bar as well. And with ice buckets, too. They're very good visual aids, things that people are actually going to notice very quickly. The other thing for me as well is start serving champagne by the glass. Because if I go into a bar or restaurant, I see people drinking champagne and by the glass, I want to try some as well. And remember something about your customers too. They're not as confident as you actually think. They need some reassurance. They want a bit of help with their choice. So help them out as much as possible. The other thing to think about in really busy trading periods, let's say you've got a weekend party booked in, maybe it's a dozen people, is take the opportunity to sell them a Magnum rather than two bottles. Because the theatre actually around pouring from a Magnum will make other customers interested. They will want to purchase a Magnum as well. And the other point I'd recommend is actually served by the glass from a Magnum because you can imagine again about the theatre at the bar of actually pouring from the Magnum into the glass. Also the other thing for any bar owner or restaurant owner is don't worry about wastage because what you can do is actually use one of these stoppers once you've opened the bottle of champagne, put it down like this and that's going to keep your bubbly nice and fresh. So I'm just going to sit back, I've got a nice chilled glass of champagne here, I'm going to enjoy and I'm going to say cheers. That's lovely, and thanks for watching.